I'm Jonas. This is TNT Nine. I'm like the explosive one. Let's start the timer. Ba-ding. So, dude, uh, we haven't talked about this on the podcast. Uh, I don't Uh-oh. think much, but uh, did we talk about Brittany Griner? Uh, no, briefly, but no, not really. If so, you want to get into a little bit more of it, we can. Yeah, I got, I got a little bit of something. So, so I, for a quick, quick hit for people who don't know, WNBA player. Uh, she's lesbian. Uh, went to went to Russia where their LGBTQ rights are basically non-existent. Drugs are super illegal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She got caught with cannabis oil in her luggage. Yeah. She's facing like a lot of jail time. Oh yeah, a lot of jail time. And uh, so she actually pled guilty. Yes, I heard. In her trial, which I think and was what she said, I mean, absolutely insane. Oh right. Absolutely. I don't insane. know why. Right. Like now you can't do. So like yeah. I mean, and her and her point was like I had no malintent, which great. Does Russia give an F that you had no No, malintent? No. None. No. And they hate us. So why would they not want to make like, (laughs) she's like, she's like the LeBron of the WNBA, essentially. (laughs) Not only do they hate the collective us, Jonas, but they also hate the us as in us, us. Right. You know, not necessarily you, us, the us, the other us. So they're racist. (laughs) They're, they're anti-gay and they don't like America. Yeah. What is that? What is a, what's like a racist against a country? What is that? Is that I something? Is that a what thing? Would it be? I don't know. Um, yeah. Either way, yeah. They hate America. They're racist, and they don't care for her sexual orientation. Right. And, and she's a woman. And drugs. And drugs. So, I mean, and she's a got woman. A lot against her. And <clears throat> so basically, so people, so people were essentially kind of like, Bro. "Why are you in Russia in the first place?" Right. We've been warned not to go to Russia, especially during this, because this happened, came up during the, the Ukraine thing. It happened before. She, I happened. think it happened right around the same time. Yeah, it was very close. But it, but anyway, I think she was already there. People know as an American in Russia, you yeah. really need to mind your p's and q's if you're over there, because like yeah, and anywhere, anywhere right. other than America, because shit is not the same right. everywhere else. So basically, um, when she, it's not really been a good look for her while she's been over there either, because like her her partner's been like crying out like, why isn't Biden and Harris helping me? And like you know, and like. <sighs> And people Man. are just like, yo, she's a grown ass woman and took pot to a, another country and got caught. Like, and I can understand making the mistake. That's a bad mistake right. to make. It's like, what, why does the president need to get involved? Because you took drugs to a country they're illegal in. Like, and that's and the whole, like the whole Reddit thread. And I thought people were going to be supportive. They were very much not supportive. Yeah. They it's were hard like, to be supportive. They're like, grow up. <laughs> like you made a mistake. Yeah. Own up to your ish whatever on, on the same note man she's looking at like 20 years in prison which is unreasonable which is unreasonable right right but uh, but on the same note how'd you get weed on the plane right right exactly and well here's the other part they said that that uh she says that she goes over to russia because she needs to supplement her income yeah, because what, what it said was she can't make a money in the nba like to sustain her life she can't make a money. <laughs> the the this woman makes two hundred twenty eight thousand dollars a year. Oh, does she make that much in yeah. the WNBA? Yes, right. Oh, that's pretty so, good. So, and that was the other thing. So, if you can't have a decent life making two hundred twenty eight thousand dollars a year, and you feel mm-hmm. you need to go to Russia to play more basketball because mm-hmm. you can't sustain your life, that's a that's kind of a you problem too. <laughs> I would say is that it's that that is that statement is made uh, not in good faith. More or less, she was just trying to make some more money because right. that's she what made you do. A million dollars in Russia to play over there. Think exactly. So right. boom, there you go. Who's going to tell you that? Who's going to say no to that when you can earn four times yeah, but, as much? But don't but don't play the work. woe is me I'm broke card uh, yeah, when you make yeah, six yeah, figures. Yeah, yeah, and I feel that. And I feel <laughs> that. Uh, if anything, she should be seeing if she can make a donation. Donation if she can forfeit her her pay there in some way. And I'm sure she's probably trying to get that handled. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. When a lot of those other countries, money, cash is king. So like, mm-hmm. yeah, they want to make an example. But you know what? If you uh, if you're willing to kick Russia some cash. They probably willing to be a little more lenient with you. I know they say yeah. with Mexico, you get arrested in Mexico. The best thing you can do is give them money. Yeah, like just hand them a, hand them a thousand dollars and be like, rich. so it's like, 
it, and compared to a lot of Mexican folks, they probably are. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like even the average American has more m- money power than the average Mexican citizen, probably because the because of the de- the the, uh, the uh, disparity in the value of the money, right? I mean, I'm not an economics right. ec- economist. Well, there's a reason they shake down Americans, right? Like, You're absolutely right. Right. So absolutely right because it's been fruitful in the past. Right. That's why. Exactly. So you know, because even like somebody me, I'm like, I can give you 500 bucks or whatever. They're like, they, yeah, yeah, that's a lot of money in Mexico, right? Yeah. So it, it is kind of crazy is that Brittany Griner is like the one of the faces of the WNBA. Like right. she's, she's like the she, LeBron. Yeah, yeah, so she should be like one of the highest paid players in the she WNBA. Is. I think actually she makes two twenty one k. The highest paid player is two twenty eight k. So she's Damn. she's well. But here's the thing, and I, mean, I and I get that equality for for money. But, oh no, but but part of but. <laughs> You say, oh, no. But part of the reason that the men in the NBA make more money is they draw more money. Absolutely. The, 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 it's almost like the, the salaries are essentially profit sharing because, because you're, you, you are the face of the NBA. The NBA makes bank off of you. Yes. So that rolls down into the amount of money that you can get paid. Not to mention the NBA has been around for a billion years. Dude, and the article here said the NBA, the WNBA has never made money. It's Always, always lost. been so it's like yeah so it's nice that they're keeping it around so women's have a professional basketball league it is not a profitable thing no. so then they're like why aren't they making eight million dollars because it would close <laughs> like they're 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 making that much money and it's folding yeah. right like yeah, yeah, yeah. but dude honestly it's it, honestly like hey if you want the wnba to make more money go to the games right Exact support the WNBA. Yeah, I'm out here supporting the NBA. Right, exactly. I could. I have a bunch of NBA hats. <laughs> yeah, right. And, and here's supporting. the other thing. It, if I like, I was never. I never was an athlete in school or whatever. But like, okay, so say, so say I was a football player, right? Yes, you're a football player, and, right? And, and football might be a bad example because people get hurt. But anyway, sports, tennis, anything, right? So say like I got done with my career in college. I went to college. I went to like a triple A school, whatever. Not didn't get drafted. And somebody was like, "Hey, you can make. We will pay you sixty thousand dollars a year to play the sport you love as a career for the next twenty years." Sounds I would good. be very happy to continue playing something I loved and get paid for it. Uh, yeah, I think most of them feel that way. Yeah, like because like I like playing sand volleyball. If somebody was like, "Hey, we'll pay you fifty thousand dollars a year, you just have to play sand volleyball every day," I'd be like, yeah. "Okay." Which is why everybody has a, a bad attitude when a football player or an NBA player complains about their money, <laughs> right? Because I you, mean, yeah, because you're doing what you've basically done your entire life, and you love this sport more right. than anything. All of them feel this way. So yeah, well, I think the common trope is they get paid to train and practice. Yes. The game they play the games for free. They do play the games for free, but the training and practice is intensive. Right, so. you have to go to the gym many hours a day. You have to go through mm-hmm. therapy. You have to go through all this crap. They're putting all this, all these supplements and blah 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 in your diet and like. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, baseball players, baseball players make ridiculous money. But baseball players during the season from from I think it's April until October's the playoffs. No days the off. Series. So October, yeah, they have like two days off a month. Yeah, no They're days off. They're playing a game man. every. Flipping day, traveling city to city, like, yeah. dude, that is intense. Yeah, pitchers really do f their arms up, man. Well, pitchers, right, and the pitchers, pitchers only play w- once every five days or something like that, yeah. once a week. Yeah, but they hurt their arms. Like every every time the pitchers go out there, they say they hurt their arms. Yeah, like I'm sure the day after you pitch a baseball game, your arm is on fire. Like it's just you can't. And, but even like even if you're just like a, a an outfielder, dude, you're out there running around every day. You're doing batting pr- every single day. Now, baseball is the way to go, though. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You're it's, play it's the a least contact intensive. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Like, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're an outfielder. Like, oh, you just yeah. got to stand out there and run around to catch the ball. Yeah. Like, dude, that's way. Because there's no risk of collision. I mean, you can't collide with your buddy in the outfield, right? That yeah. does happen. They just yeah. had to do get carted off the other day because yeah. they collided in the outfield. But yeah, dude, it's. Yeah, that's it's, the business we need to get into, yeah, Jonathan. Plenty of baseball. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, dude, it, it, it's, it's interesting. It's. I, I mean. Do I feel bad for her as a human? Yes. Do I feel bad for her for the situation she got into? Not really, because you did it, man. You did it. Yeah, I mean, what can you do? What can you do? But I I still think that her pleading guilty was probably not the best idea. Um, Oh, no. It almost sounds like she was talked into that. But maybe maybe that's part of the thing. It's like it may be, but it, I would no contest maybe. But it just seems like guilty is like guilty. Well, and I guess the guilt statement comes from like 
it was in my bag. I know it was there. There was not malintent. That's that's no contest. Right. But that's uh, saying is that the events happened, but I'm not assuming guilt necessarily well, right, right yet. And here's the other as soon as you here. say guilty, it's just like, oh, well, case closed. But shouldn't you go in the years. route of I didn't know it was in my luggage? That is more acceptable than guilty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, because dude, guilt is guilt. Well, because here's me. I don't. I mean, I don't carry around pop procs or whatever. But anytime I travel, the first thing I do, the bag that I'm taking, I empty it out 100 percent completely, and make sure everything in that bag is out, and then I start adding what I'm going to travel with. Oh well, see, you're insane. <laughs> see, that's a different level. I've never, I've never done that in my life. But do you 90, 99 per- ninety nine percent of the time before I leave, I pack like the night before. Well, no, no. But what I mean is, like, what do you keep in your bags? What do you mean? Like, I make sure there's not. My bags are normally empty. I mean, I make sure not to take drugs with but, but me. I, but I, <laughs> what I mean is, it's not a long process. I look in the pockets and make sure there's nothing in them, and then I start packing. Like it's not That's like not I what have... you said. I collect my, all of my things in a bag. I spread them out on a bed. Yeah. I inspect each one with a fine tooth comb, magnifying glass, and a in an astrolabe. I call my mom and ask her if it's okay. <laughs> I bring every single one. I, I, I didn't even tell you that um, on my plane trip, I accidentally took uh, I took lotion with me. And, oh, like a big bottle. <laughs> yeah, and the motherfuckers they uh they put my bag off to the side, and I was like, why is he putting my bag off to the side? And you know, even though I know I don't have anything in there, I'm like, there's always a chance somebody could have slid cocaine in my right, back right. pocket. Right, right, yeah, yeah. They did that to mine too. When so I... I'm like, oh shit, what's going on? So I like, I to like try to. I don't know what I was thinking. I like tried to step over and just like grab my bag and like a couple of guys were like, hey, sir, 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 get behind the line, sir. I was like, yeah, okay, I didn't know. I was like, <laughs> oh, please don't take me in the back. My plane leaves in 30 minutes. Did they throw it, make you throw it away? Yeah, they just yeah. threw away my lotion yeah. and sent me on my way. Yeah, the same thing happened with me, but like it was weird. And I said, I, and I, he gave me the bag. I said, what? I said, what, what, what set off the thing? And he just said, sometimes the way things line up in the bag. Mm-hmm. Is suspicious and they pull it off because I had like because I didn't take a bag either side so my toiletries with like my razor and my shaving cream and all that mm-hmm. and then I had like my medicine so the pills were in, so it was just oh, the way it lined yeah, up dude. like we'll definitely look at your pills no but I, I keep them in there I've never been pulled over just to have medicines but anyways that's all the time we have for this episode go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas TNT oh yeah.